What is up guys, Minimean75 here, and today I am back with another episode of Minecraft Creations, and this guys is going to be my bank. This is a Minecraft bank, it's got a big vault, it's got a vault alarm, it's just, it's a huge, um, bank obviously there's a ton of offices and stuff it looks absolutely awesome so let's get into it guys here you guys can see we've got the front of the bank and then I'm going to show you the top of the bank and then the back of it as well the top we've got the air ducts there which I think just looks super super authentic and then all the way here in the back we've got where the air ducts um, and everything kind of gets set up so yeah I think the bank looks absolutely awesome I hope you guys like it I've worked my butt off on this bank for um, the last few days here because what I really want is I want to start doing some um, super intricate builds like this stuff that just looks absolutely awesome stuff to the point where once you um, I can make Xbox One maps downloadable because obviously right now you can make Xbox 360 maps downloadable but you can't for the Xbox One when I can finally make them available for the Xbox One, I'm going to take like the Dude Perfect Arena and the Trampoline Park, and all these are on this same map, and I'm going to make them all downloadable um, once I can. So anyway, let's get into it, guys. Here is the bank. Here's what you'll walk through the front door like this, and here's the inside. I think it looks absolutely awesome. I hope you guys like it. First off, as you guys can see here on the sides, we've got a couple ATM stations right there we've got these big windows that I just think make the bank look so much more authentic and we've got a huge fountain in the center so I mean this is just gonna be a huge um, you know what I mean this just shows how high class this bank really really is we've got a few plants here on the sides these are the lines basically you just come and stand in line and then here's where the tellers would work on the other side of this glass as you guys can see then right here we've got that door um, that obviously most people want, would always want to see what's behind that door um, from what I've learned, behind that door is actually pretty plain, to be honest with you. Um, but yeah, so in here you guys can see we've got some offices, we've got desks. All the desks are set up with the, the, the seat for the person who's working. They've all got a safe, and then basically then they've got the seats where people would come and talk about mortgages and all that fun banking stuff that nobody really cares about. Um, and then in here, we've got some other offices, more for the, the big wig people who, I mean, for the most part, all these offices are going to look very, very similar. But these are going to be for the, you know, the people that are higher up, maybe the people that make a little bit more money. Then we've got offices like this where some of the lower end people would sit. You know, some of the newbies would just get stuck sitting in an office with multiple people. Um, and they all just kind of vary. So I think they all look absolutely awesome. Here's another office in there that's more for somebody who's a big wig person. And then on each side of the bank, we've got these little entertainment rooms here. These would be for the people who, um, you know, for the people who work a lot. Obviously, if you want to just kind of sit and chill maybe on your lunch break or you want to just sit and chill on one of your breaks or you decide to work late and you take a little hour off, you can sit and watch TV, stuff like that. Just something to make the atmosphere of working at the bank a little bit more fun than what we're used to. And then on the other side of the bank, it's going to look the exact same. For the most part, the two sides are going to be very, very um, identical for the most part. But I went through and I did it all so that if I can't ever make this map downloadable, you guys will be able to get to really experience everything. So now here we can go upstairs. Upstairs is going to be pretty similar to downstairs. The balcony up here looks really, really cool, though. It's one of my favorite parts of it is you can look over this balcony and see everything. I've never been in a bank this big, but I just can't imagine how awesome it would be if, you know, if there are, I'm assuming there are banks that are this big and super high class. Um, but then in here, we've got more offices. The upstairs offices, I didn't do a whole lot with um, windows. I did more paintings and stuff just to kind of make it look a little bit different. Uh, for the most part, they all look the same, other than the fact that the desks are a little bit lighter. I didn't want the desks to be the same, uh, you know, the same tone as the floor, so I decided to make the desks a little bit lighter. But yeah, the um, the upstairs offices, like I said, are going to look very, very similar. Um, and then we've got uh, men's and women's bathrooms. The women's is going to look like this, where it's got all the different stalls. Then it's got the um, the sink and the mirror there. And then in the men's, let me get in there. The men's, the only thing that's really different is the men's has the stalls, but then it's got the urinals over here, and then it's got the um, mirror over here. So now the layout for our bank, we've got bathrooms upstairs on both sides. Um, but like I said, other than that, for the most part, it's all identical. Down in this bottom corner um, on the bottom floor, we've got another entertainment room like you guys saw over here there. Um, and here is the... Um, this is the lunch room and, you know, like the cafeteria and the uh, break room, which I think looks absolutely awesome. We've got three refrigerators there because obviously we've got a good number of people that work here. We've got two microwaves and then we've got two coffee makers and two sinks. So I think the cafeteria area looks awesome. And then we've got little booths here for people to eat um, when they're on break. And we've got little TVs at each booth so that people could sit and watch whatever they want to specifically watch rather than have to watch what everybody's got turned on, which I think looks really, really cool. Um, just something that was really unique that I decided to put in. 
And then obviously over here, like I said, bathrooms are going to look the exact same. And then we've got the offices over here as well that are going to look the exact same as the other side. So now what we're going to do, we're going to go and we're going to go check out the bank vault. That's by far my favorite part of the build. It's the part that definitely took the longest. So let's get in here, guys. Obviously, we've got iron doors you can't get in um, unless you have the key. Well, well, in Minecraft, as long as you got the button, you can get back here. Right in here, we've got our security room. So this is going to have, you know, this is these boxes are going to be filled with security tapes and stuff like that. And then here we've got our security room where we'll have a full um, security team that is going to be watching cameras to make sure nobody robs this place. We've got a big main monitor here and then all these monitors with speakers and control panels and all this stuff. So I, this is the security room. I think it looks absolutely awesome. And then we can open up this door here. Now here is our main hub to get to the vault. Our vault is going to be down here. In here, if we open if we open this up, you guys can see this is just where the tellers are going to work. I didn't really do a whole lot behind the desk of putting in like safes and stuff. I could have, but I decided, you know what, the teller area is pretty boring at any bank. Anybody who's ever worked at a bank, I haven't personally, but anybody who's ever worked at a bank would probably agree they're pretty boring. So we'll go back in here, and then we'll go in here. And as you guys can see, this is going to be the bank vault. This is the one spot that most people wish they could see that most people will never get to see unless you're a big, um, you know, a big wig at a big bank. But here's the vault, guys. The cool part about the vault is it's got its own, um, I've got its, it's got its own, like, combination. If you don't put in the right combination, you're not getting in the vault. And it's got its own alarm. So I've got the sound turned up on my game. I typically have the, the sound turned off, but I have it turned on so you guys can see it. So let's say we want to put in a combination. Let's say we want to do this one and this one hopefully that's it if we flip it oh crap the alarm's going off what are we gonna do after a little bit the alarm does turn off so now let's restart and I'll show you guys what the actual combination is it's actually just this one right here flip that switch forward we flip the button and the bank vault opens and to show you guys this um, how I did that there's actually I'm gonna sh um, put the link in the description it was mumbo jumbo who um, made this uh, tutorial on how to make the bank vault with the alarm. I'll put his link in the description. It's an awesome video. It's only like 16 minutes long, but it shows exactly how to do it. So yeah, I'll put his link in the description there. And then in here, guys, we've got our bank vault. We've got these boxes set up. We've got boxes like this that are going to be full of just gold ingots. I mean, if you could ever rob this place, man, you'd have more money than, you know, than you'd know what to do with. And then I put in emeralds because emeralds, I think, the way I think of Minecraft is, you know, if you're... Um, Working with villagers or stuff like that, emerald is, you know, the way of currency. So I figured the emerald is the cash. So, but yeah, here's the bank vault, guys. I think it looks absolutely awesome. I love the fact that there is a, um, a security, you know, alarm. The one thing he does in his vault as well is he actually sets up trip wires for, like, lasers. I didn't do that because the way that I set my vault up, I was like, you know what? It's not worth it, but that's a really, really great idea. So we'll flip this switch again. We can shut the vault back up just like that. And then what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do something, you know, another weird combination. I mean, you could do it literally any combination you want. Um, you know, let's say we do that. We flip that switch again. And then that alarm's going to go off again. So, but yeah, this is the uh, bank vault, guys. I think it looks absolutely awesome. If you guys like this bank vault, definitely hit that like button down below. Um, so yeah, now let's head back outside, guys. If I can get outside. And we'll look at the outside one more time before we end the video. Alright, so there's the outside again, guys. As you guys can see, I think it looks absolutely awesome. We can kind of pop in here and you guys can look at these air vents. I'm super happy with the air vents. I just think it makes the outside of the um, whole thing just look so much more authentic. And then with all the windows inside, it just looks freaking awesome. So if you guys like this video, hit that like button down below. You have no idea how much that helps me out. If you want to see the full time lapse of this video from start to finish, head down in the description to my Patreon account. You'll get to see the full time lapse of this video and any other big new builds I do. And let me tell you guys, I got some awesome things in store for you. I've been working my butt off lately to get some really, really awesome builds done. So yeah, guys, for literally as low as a dollar a month, you'll get to see some um, exclusive content that only the folks who help support me are going to get to see. Other than that, guys, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.